Britain will bask in heat this weekend as England prepare to face Panama in the World Cup on Sunday, when temperatures will be as high as 27 C. Revelers descended on Newport for the 50th Isle of Wight Festival in a heatwave forecast to bring the hottest day of the year on Wednesday. Met Office forecasters are predicting temperatures of up to 81 F, 27 C, in London and across the southeast on Sunday, with highs of up to 75 F, 24 C, in Scotland as well as the north of England. London's temperatures will be higher than those in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, which will have highs of just 79 F, 26 C, on Sunday. Southwest Scotland as well as southwest England will be slightly cooler than the rest of the UK at 70 F, 21 C. Conditions on Monday and Tuesday are likely to hover at the same heat level before the heat wave will reach its height on Wednesday when temperatures are set to rise past 86 F, 30 C, beating the hottest day of the year so far, which was recorded on April 19 in St James Park, London, with highs of 84 F, 29 C. Share this article Share June is on track to be Britain's hottest for 42 years since 1976's famous heat wave, Met Office statistics for the first half of June show. June's rainfall is also down by half at just 19 mm amid 82 hours of sunshine, the Met Office said. This month's average temperature is 15.9 C, 1.9 C above normal, in central England, verging on the top 5% hottest June since records began 359 years ago, in 1659, Met Office figures show. Met Office forecaster Bonnie Diamond said, it's warming up from the weekend and for next week as high pressure drags up warmer air from the continent. From Wednesday looks like the low 30s in the south with sunny and warm weather lasting until at least the end of next week. The weather outlook forecaster Brian Gay said, It's a BBQ weekend, with 27 C possible by Sunday. A heat wave follows with 32 C in southern and central regions. The UK average temperature of 14. 7 C, 1.7 C above normal, from June 1 14 is the warmest June since 1976 is 15.0 C over the whole of June. Met Office figures show 